I'm Armor Chocobo with an important public service message. If you have a cold, cover your mouth before you sneeze or cough, or Nintendo will get sick. Thank you. Welcome back to Earthbound Zero. Previously, we got sick in Reindeer, one of the optional towns in this game. And also, we made friends with Anna, the girl-looking friend in our party. She's a Hermione to Lloyd's Ron Weasley. Because she has all these psychic powers, she's studied. I leveled her up to 18 so she could have super healing now. Super healing does not cure colds though, but they do revive people. So, that's good. I heard colds can kill people. We should take care of that, but I, I shunned all hospitals. But the department store should have something cool. Also, I picked up a laser beam because I was leveling at Duncan's factory. It's nice to go back and teach it what for now that I'm level 27. I'll just sell that. There's better. It just says PK beam damage, but only PK beam alpha. I remember you cannot sigh out money at this ATM. It's not magicans. But let's withdraw, I don't know, five grand. Yeah, I don't feel accomplished unless I'm carrying mad sacks. And it figures the drugstore doesn't have any cold immunity items. And I forgot to buy a boomerang for Anna. There you go, Anna. Welcome to the boomerang club. You had to prove yourself. I don't want that aluminum bat, though. I still don't understand why the developers decided to give us the second most powerful weapon in the game so early in it. It's the second town, and we get boomerangs already. Also, foods! Nothing, nothing important here except for berry tofu. But we'll be coming back for that later. I just want some bread right now. I think I could use some bread in my life. No, don't need anything else though. Also, are you selling anything? Yes, you're selling nonsense. I don't want to buy your nonsense. This place doesn't even have a sign. What's going on here? A weapon shop! Ooh, these are good weapons, especially that plasma beam. Plasma beam is just like the laser beam, but more beamier. So buy a couple of these. Give them the Lloyd. Do some PK beam beta damage. And they have multiple uses, so... It's kinda like a bazooka from Earthbound. Pretty much just basically the same thing, multiple uses... Interesting damage, even though Bazooka worked more like a bomb than a laser beam. Also, it completely replaced my shoot attack. Alright, we're done with at least the town of Reindeer. Let's go hunting for that old man people were talking about that's immune to colds for 300 years. I need to learn his secret. I have a cold. Look at that, it's tearing me apart from the inside out. Now, you might think it's back the way you came back to the railroad, and then you go somewhere? No, I know shortcut. Right here at this long house. There's a little side passage, like going to the Canary Village. And up here is a healer. He will refresh in your PP and such like that. I don't need it. But you take a left at the fork. And get into a fight. I thought my repel ring was working. No, I actually forgot to equip my repel ring. Why? I wasted all my repel ring steps on leveling up. I wanted to make sure I was fighting strong enemies instead of weak ones, like this rope. That, that's an example of rope tying you up. And that's an example of why Anna doesn't really need boomerang. She does weak damage with it, even with a boomerang. She needs to use psychic powers more often. Repel ring! Stay away from me, you weak enemies. Anna put, should be strong enough to keep everything away. But the trucks! The trucks are still stronger than Anna. Even when I try to circumvent the encounter rates, it still finds a way to get in. It's like Molnir. It will not obey the repel rings of mortals. Let's get away from these trucks. Stay away, truck! You're not supposed to be in the woods anyway. Speaking of which, the terrain changed. It means we're coming up on something important. Hey, it's a house in the middle of nowhere! Where is this house? It's on my map! That single solitary dot next to the scale marker. Alright, what's in here? Maybe they know about an old man that cures colds. 
Menomena! Do 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 do. I don't understand your crazy alien moon talk. Is your mind as broken as your mouth? He doesn't have any dentures! He can't speak. Even though my grandfather didn't have any teeth either, and he could speak perfectly fine. What's wrong with you, man? Well, you're not psychic. Alright, we've been given a side quest to go find dentures. You gotta be around here somewhere. Huh. Where can these dentures be? Where is an obvious spot that I could look? I wonder where this place is called, anyway. You usually have names for such places. The Mislay Triangle! People mislay things here. It's like the Bermuda Triangle, except you don't crash your plane. Oh, speaking of which, here's some dentures. Score! What silly person would mislay dentures right next to a sign? I mean, I know Stumble Pass, you're prone to stumble in it, but... Seriously, mislaying things just means you're absent-minded. Stumbling just means you're clumsy. Here you go, man. I found your dentures. It wasn't very hard. Have you checked underneath the sign that says Mislay Triangle? What is my reward? He'll teach us the secret of a long, long life without colds. Gargle often. Gargle proud. Gargle strong. What does this mean? What are you saying at me? That a dentist just ran out some space because he's about to give us mouthwash. Really? Really, mouthwash. Thanks a lot. If you check the dentures, it'll say, hey, you should brush your teeth more often and you won't get these. Keep us a whole bunch of mouthwash. Ah, it's a lot more than I needed. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks, so, thanks a whole lot. Yeah, to you too. With your mouthwash. And you can buy some mouthwash off this kid for ten bucks. But I got enough, thank you. The thing you can do with this is, this is pretty much Earthbound Zero's chicken. A department store will buy mouthwash for $87. You can buy it here for $10. You can make a $75 profit. I should go back to town and do just that. See you later. I just offloaded most of my mouthwash and I just realized that I haven't tested this product. I could have given them a hokey product. Yep, that's what it says on the label. I'll lose my cold, but will it really do it? It's time for a test after market. Hey, it cured my cold. Here you go. The department store doesn't have to throttle me for stealing all their money. Ah, that's a lot of cash. Uh, also, Anna got a little beat up. Repel rings aren't perfect, but at least they'll help in a pinch. I have the No Encounters code, but there's a trick to it. If I turn on No Encounters, the only way to get rid of it is to shut off the emulator and load a save from the game itself. It's a lot more trouble than it's worth. But at least I, there is an option that I could go through this entire game with No Encounters and just go right to the boss. But we'll be missing out on all those interesting enemies. Also, now I'm a little lost. Arg! Where is Train? I need to leave this godforsaken place. Full of dog houses. And colds. There we go. Right here. When you see farmland, you're going in the right direction. I was trying to go back to the mouthwash guy. At least the encounter rate is somewhat manageable with the repel ring. So, can't argue too much about it. It's time to go elsewhere! There's only one other town on this railroad we haven't visited. We only drove past it. It's Spookane! They're only charging $9 to go there, because it's so close! So let's enjoy one little train ride. For good time's sakes. As much as I love you, train, I kind of wish there's a teleport right now. Except for bread. And here we are at Spookane, also known as Halloween. Now you might be wondering, hey, Etoy, what is the deal with all these holiday names? He wanted the towns to sound friendly, even though a town that looks like this shouldn't really be friendly, should it? So he named them all after holidays. But even Phil Sandhop said that just because you named it after a holiday doesn't make it friendly. 
So we changed him to Podunk, L.A., Spokane. He left a few like Reindeer and Snowman, but he Americanized a game that's already parroting American culture. And where is all the people at in Spokane? Hello? You guys forgot to clean up your messes. What the heck is that anyway? Is that ectoplasm? Dust? Did a dragon come through and torch everyone? I don't understand what that is to this very day. And a repel ring just ran out on us. More repel ring then! I'm gonna have to buy more of these. Next time I get to a department store. Alright. Ooh, a hotel! Good. I could use a rest. Well, not really, but... Hello, guy. You were looking rather gray today. You kind of look like the little kid from the old man's house. But it's only $18 a night here! That's cheap! But we're gonna stay here for the principle of the thing. I didn't like that creepy laugh you did just then. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having such a cheap hotel in the middle of the heck hole like this. Oh, I should have known! Service with a smile, it's Starman! He's the grown-up version of Starman Jr. He has everything that Starman Jr. has, and more! Like the size shield! And that just renders Anna completely impotent. Maybe we should use laser beams on him. Maybe we should use more boomerangs on him. That's the power of size shield. And that guy will become a common enemy from now on. He gave us a sneak peek of what's to come. Ah, uh, there's Starman everywhere! Where are the people? Where are the people in Spokane? Oh, hey, there they are. Hello. I wanted to talk to you. Jeez. These guys are living in the middle of nowhere. No wonder Spokane is split in half. One part of this town is filled with monsters. And that's where all the streets are, and the major businesses, and the hotels, and all that. The people were forced to move out here to the residential district. Huh. Rosemary girl. Could that be her up there? Let's check her out. Maybe she has some information about what's going on here. Why are you guys living out in the woods? Besides the obvious monster problem you have. The Rosemary's. Ah, oh, we missed them. They went to L.A. They saw the monsters in town and they were like, Ha! Screw this, we're rich. Well, that's great. We just missed the Rosemary's. A ghost house in Spookane! I know about it now, but I'm gonna answer no. Oh, good. That means it's a dungeon of some sort, doesn't it? It's going to try and hurt me in many ways. Hey, little girl, I found someone to sing with you. The Rosemary's new address? I don't know it. Maybe I'll have to Google it. Oh, wait, there's no Google in 1988. Oh. Well, that answers everything. The Rosemary's moved, all right. They're six feet under. The ghost house belongs to them. A ghost appeared in his house, too. He's going to die soon. Did he move your furniture around? He did that to me. <laughs> you know your life sucks when your room is too small for a ghost. Sucks to be you, buddy. Speaking of all these ghosts, I haven't heard anything about that poltergeist at the beginning of the game. You haven't heard anything about that, we just know that this world is heck. Oh, just looking at me brings confidence to her. I'm gonna take that house and I'm gonna make it my own with this key. Do you have the deed too? This person must have known the Rosemary's personally, because this is the key to the Rosemary's house! Thank you, mystery woman! Now I can beat up ghosts. And this house is filled with monsters! They're having a poker game in there. How does the little saucer hold his royal flush? Probably a little robotic arm comes out. You don't really look it. You look like a normal eight-year-old kid to me. Everyone in this town is so serious. Jeez, people! Ghosts take out of our cities every day. You don't have to move out into the woods. Did I speak to her already? I don't think so. 
Oh, hi! I didn't know I had a personal assistant. This is the hint seller. Yeah, I have a ton of cash. Give me a hint. She can only sell us three hints in the entire game. Use them wisely. The ghost house is not a place for slaying monsters. There's a melody in there. Now I have a reason to go into that dungeon. I mean, they didn't store any rockets in the Rosemary Manor, so... Lloyd has no purpose of going there. And there's no Bibles in that house, so Anna doesn't have any interest either. Spoiler! In the Encyclopedia Mother, which basically is the strategy guide of this game, it says that Anna enjoys reading the Bible and going to churches. That's why she lives in one. Welcome to the Rosemary's Manor! It should have a driveway, like right here. Why do I have to go through the woods? Arg! But the Encyclopedia Mother also has a lot of information just on Anna. Anna has the most information out of all of the characters. Her sign is a Capricorn. She was born on December 23rd. And that makes her the only Earthbound character to have a birthday. Oh, right. There is a door here. I should open it. I should feed this house my ghost key. Here you go, house. Nom nom nom. Welcome to the haunted house! There's a haunted Shroudly! Shroudly? Really? You're gonna go with that name? Okay, cool! Shroudly is moderately dangerous. He has a last attack. He could suicide himself and do a whole bunch of damage. But he just bashed me instead. And uh, maybe you should stick with psychic powers. That boomerang thing isn't working out for you too well. Not in the least. And here is a haunted house mouse! Mouse house, haunted mouse house. He's just an ordinary mouse. A room with a piano. Well, I need to find this room. Just like Duncan's factory, this place is intended to make you lost. But I know the way. You go up on the first two sets of doors here. Go downstairs, and then you go down on the next two sets of doors. It's very simple. No, I know your trick. You won't scare me with your ghost voice. The music's a little creepy, though. Alright, down one more. And this should lead us to the piano. And armor! Armor is both the hardest enemy in the game and the most lucrative. They have a whole ton of experience points and money to give you. But they're made out of... armor. Literally. They're made out of themselves. And they also have a PK Thunder attack for some weird reason. Well, let's just hit him with our null damage. I should be able to pierce through his defense. Ouch! Lightning! It doesn't... it doesn't get reflected by Franklin Badge! Take that, you stupid armor! I got laser beams. Welcome to the 24th century. Actually, it would still be the... 20th century? Yes, it's 1988. They didn't get into the 2000s yet. There you go, Anna. More levels for you. Maybe you'll stop being attacked by everything with a rappel ring up, huh? Huh? Uh, let's use a big bag, just for old times' sakes. Recover some of that HP you got killed. That big bag, I don't think I'm gonna go through it before it's... Turn back! Turn back! No, I will not listen to you. It's ridiculous. And there's a life up cream! We don't need that, but we definitely need this! A haunted piano, with a melody inside. That makes it melody number four. We haven't heard a melody in a while. Let's refresh our memories with the ocarina. And we still have four more melodies to go. We should get on that, but I kind of made this uh, haunted house look like a chump. I just went right to the end. The only reason why we need to go in this haunted house. We stopped the zombie menace. Maybe we should hunt for zombies. 
I'm gonna head back to the entrance and leave some bread. But here's a dust ball! This is the reason why I have H2O pendants as well. This guy can do fire damage when he dies, because he explodes! Or at least sets himself on fire. And it doesn't seem to be doing a heck of a lot of damage right now. Is she even wearing that boomerang? Did I even equip it on her? Did I even give it to her? I don't even know. But she has more psychic power. Alright, she's using the boomerang. She's just weak like that, I guess. Anna, I'm disappointed in you. At least let's see what kind of psychic power she picked up. That's Nintendo's. That's Nintendo's spell book. Super healing, we got paralysis that paralyzes people. Fire alpha, which is really stupid and dumb. I can't seem to see what, what she picked up here. It must have been paralysis. Oh well. I didn't see a size shield beta there that protects everybody with size shield. Maybe that's it. I don't even know anymore. The psychic spells are never in order. I hate it. I hate paging through all of them. Yeah, like he was doing us good anyway. That's great repel ring, thank you. I should be back to the entrance soon, but here's Zombie! And Nasty Zombie! Fun fact about the Nasty Zombie and its palette swapped cousin, the Gang Zombie. In the Japanese version, it had bullet holes all over their body. But unlike the zombie here, the zombie is psychic. He wants to shock your brain! No, he doesn't want to eat it. He's more intelligent than that. He just wants to confuse you instead. Luckily, it only targets one and uh, one target. There is an all-target version of Brain Shock, and actually, Anna could get a hold of it. And poor Lloyd, he broke one of his plasma beams. How did he do that? You just pulled the trigger, Lloyd. Lloyd. I need a warranty against you, man. Really. Seriously and truly. I'm pretty much just holding out because it is Halloween. We might as well hang out in a haunted house for a while. Fighting with ghosts! But I don't want to fight these kinds of ghosts. We've seen these ghosts. He's seen these ghosts before. Why are they even here? It's completely pointless. Alright, here we are back at the entryway. Let's just hunt for ghosts now! I want to go to the, some of the different rooms. Show you how you can get lost in this area. There you go. Leave the crumbs right there so we can get out of here. Once I'm done with this place. I really want to find more enemies! I want it worth my salt to come in here, okay? Ah, antidote! Not worthy of my inventory space. Go away right now. If you don't know precisely where to go, this this area will throw you for a loop. Because you'll just be running in random doors and going, Ah! How do I get out? There's ghosts everywhere! There's zombies trying to kill me! Ah, this is the ghost I'm looking for. He's slightly off-center. You know why that is? He calls more enemies. Like, ghost! No! I don't want ghost. You are dumb ghost. Both of you are dumb ghost. Yeah, way to go. Shooting at nothing. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks for wasting one of your uses. There's only one enemy left, and I'm not waiting for the random number generator to find him, but it's the Bionic Bat! He's like a normal Mr. Bat, except he also can petrify. That makes him more dangerous. So this is the Halloween special of Mother. We fought some ghosts for a little while. The scary part is, the encounter rate is always watching. Ooh. 